All right. So we're going to workshop your episode. What do you want your episode to be? What's the, the tone of it? Well, welcome to Chasing the Whimsy. I'm Liam. Right. Ben? So, so we have this idea, but we don't really, we don't know how we're going to get this up and going, this idea. Okay. So what is your idea? We, 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 got, we got grandmas here, so we can ask them for some help. So the idea is like What's the title of the episode? Let's start there. Okay Boomer. Okay Boomer. Alright, so Okay Boomer uh is poking fun at old man dad. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you wanna poke fun at old man dad. Um and how are you gonna do that? So I'm gonna do um basically like how his generation said things like cool and stuff like that. Rad, gnarly. Yeah, but now generation is like um, on what they say, and it's gonna be like he's gonna say something like rad or gnarly, and you're getting, and you're gonna be like mm, your okay, old dad. All right, give me an example. Cool. What do you think this generation's cool is? Yeah. Cool with like the K E E L, however you spell it with the K W. Kill. Yeah, it's kill. Kill. No. That's not it. Not at all. It's so they usually they usually like I don't use I I you say just cool, um, uh they say either lit or that's like that's fire, bro. Like so if something's cool. Yeah. That's fire. Yeah. Why fire? I have no clue. Why lit? I have no clue. So if something is lit, it turns into fire, or they're just too. You're lit? just taking it too far. Okay, so so as. Old man, dad. Mm-hmm. I need to try to understand. Just let it go, man. Just this is what it is, and just deal with it. Mm-hmm. It's lit. It's fire. Okay. When's the last time you used lit or fire? Never. I never used fire. I probably said lit when I was like seven or something. Okay. What? Okay. Like, what do you say when you play Fortnite? What do you mean, like when I win or something? Yeah. If you're like, if you got a, if you got a sweet, like, pew. Like a sweet headshot. You're like, man, that was lit. No. I lit that guy up. Oh, cool. Well, yeah, lit, I lit that guy up. Well, ba- yeah, it's basically like... It's like a bad dad joke. Because <laughs> I lit him up. That's cool up. <laughs> You're rethinking this whole idea. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your old man. Old man, dad doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay, give me another one. Give me. A, I can play this. Okay. Um. You're ro- like that's wrong. Like. Um. All right. So. So like you're, so, I'm like I'm 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 a billionaire. You're like that's that's not true. What do you think we use? So you try to state something as fact, and I'm like, no, no, that's not right. Yeah. Like, the the world's flat, and I'm like, no, that's not right. Mm-hmm. That's bogus. No, not even close. Okay, hold on. No, Liam. The Earth isn't flat. That's wiggity 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 wig wrong. That's like fifties. No. All right, what do you say? It, they say it's um. So I'm like, uh, the flat. The Earth is flat. That's cap. Cap. Yeah. C A P. C A P. That's cap. What does cap mean? Just like all the other ones, I have no clue. It, does it, it's the same correct. It's not, so it doesn't stand for like correct. A, something. No. Just cap. That's cap. Or and like some people say something like the Earth is flat cap. Just just cap. Oh okay. So if you're playing a game, with other grandma mm. and you make the wrong move and she's like no no cap. Which means you did that wrong. Back up, redo your turn. It's more of a like correction, like the nah, that's 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 not that's not real, or like, or it's like like that's. <laughs> All right, so we were playing a game with nephew JJ, mm-hmm. cousin JJ, mm-hmm. and it was new to him, so we were kind of both kind of, we were, he knew ish to play. I've never played it, but I was he knew weird. the concept. But he played a card, and then later I realized, like, he played the card wrong. Mm-hmm. But I could have been, like, when he played it wrong, I could have been, no, no, cap. 
it's not more of a, like a um you lead up to it you just like that's cap like and then is he supposed to know i'm wrong no it's like because he's trying to say something right so i say something and you're like that's cap so like i'm a billionaire you're like that's cap because you know it's fake or you that's what you're thinking is wrong that sounds so complicated i have no, I have no clue but you do it and you like so as a generation as a 13 year old you're like i don't necessarily agree but i'll play your reindeer games and I, use these weird words i don't use those weird words I, I think i feel your same way i don't think it's weird are they googling it are we right that's so funny right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm right okay all right give me another one give me another one um, i can do this well there's, there's a word used in in this generation right so they're like hey you go over to that girl get her number you have like all right so, and i want to know what is for you too because i have no clue all right so it's like hey lamb you should get that girl's number she's cute mm -hmm. and then to punctuate i need to be like and i i got no idea i didn't even know like I thought you would just be like, go talk to her. I didn't know you guys needed another, <laughs> like, it's like a double explanation, but go talk to her. Word that means go talk to her. So it's like, go talk to her, go talk to her. Okay, so <laughs> it's, it's, um, go, go Riz. 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 R I Z Z. Two Z's. Yes. Okay, which means go talk to a girl. Or go Riz her up. Oh, okay, so like, hey, go talk her up. Yeah. Like, literally. I would go talk with her, mm -hmm. but instead, you guys are like, go Riz her up. Mm -hmm. Or like, if you did it, you're like, you have, you have Riz. What does that mean? I have Riz? Yes. You have no Riz. I have no Riz. I have no good ability to talk to people. No. That's weird. It's funny watching the grandmas right now, because they're like... That's why it's called OK Boomer. They're like, yeah, yeah, Liam's right. Old man dad has no idea what the heck he's doing. He sounds silly. Well, I, I, I have something looked up. I want to know what some of these mean. Okay. Um, I have... Um, I don't know how to say this word. B-O-D-A-C-I-O-U-S. Bodacious. Bodacious? Yes. Bodacious. I don't know. Wouldn't that be kind of like cool? Like, that was a little bit more... That was bodacious. Like, I don't understand. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, you go... F f I think it's earlier. Like, it almost sounds like a 60-ish. No. not Definitely not in the 70s. Bodacious. I wonder if that would have been more, like, um, uh, regional. Like, maybe more of, like, a California word. Bodacious. For whatever... I don't know. I've never used bodacious. Um, I'm pretty sure a Ninja Turtle said it once in one of the movies. Um, it says in here that Bill and Ted used it. Yes. In and they were in the 80s. Bodacious. Bodacious. Almost like a stoner word. Yeah. It just... What does it seem like? Yeah, man. Bodacious. All right. All right. Give me another one. Well, Big Whoop. Big whoop. What is like the big whoa, deal? Whoa, 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 mom, what's the big deal? Yeah, okay. Big whoop. I knew that one. Well, yeah, why did you guys use gnarly? Gnarly. And while we're doing gnarly, <laughs> rad. Um, I definitely think those ones were more like coastal words, like your San Francisco's, your West Coast. Beach. I think that was more like surfer slang. I'm pretty sure. I'm but getting, a lot of people I'm use getting nods. I'm getting nods. Dad got one. Dad got one. Raise yeah. the roof. Do we still do that? Yeah, sure. Do we still raise the roof? <laughs> and he he looks away from me disappointed. Like, put your hands down, Dad. Tubular. Tubular. Uh, yeah, same thing with uh, the the surfer talk. Hmm. Yeah. Um, what about eat my shorts? Oh, it's a it's a classic catchphrase from Bart, Bart Simpson. Simpson. Um, what was interesting, Bart Simpson came out 80, 86-ish, 
Mm-hmm. Um, decent show. And then, like, right into, like, 90, 91, I bet, um, Bart had a catchphrase. And he, all of a sudden, everywhere, he's on Slurpee Cups. He's on, like, 7-Eleven Cups. He was the spokesperson for, like, an entire decade for Butterfingers. Um, it was, what was it? Uh, something like, I don't know what the catchphrase was. It was like, keep your hands off my Butterfinger or something. Oh. <laughs> like, but something a little bit more like witty. And yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, Bart Simpson, I think um, it was Eat My Shorts. And I think that kind of springboard him into like his mass popularity in like the mid 90s. So it's kind of like an insult, like psh, eat my shorts. Yeah, you don't know nothing. Radical, more surf slang. Yeah. Okay. Ra- radical. No. Oh. Um, you guys use chill pill, right? No, man. Take a chill pill, mom. Mom, I'll get to the dishes. Let's take a chill pill. I get smacked. Yeah, I never got smacked, but it was like. 80s, 90s, and it was just like, show up and just do it! I'm like, okay, okay! <laughs> it was like, oh! It was funny, because, like, a lot of the slang, too, like, some of those, like, anti-establishment, anti-parent ones, they were really only used when your friends were around. Like, when those no friends were around, and she's like, go do dishes, you're like, oh man, and you just whine about it, and she's just like, show up and do it. And then it's like, when your friends are around, you gotta be cool, you're like, take a chill pill, and you're like, yeah, yeah! Yeah. I, Did you hear that? I just told my mom to take a chill pill. This okay. I got another one. I've never, I have never ever heard this one. Okay. Gag me with a spoon. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. Is that one even appropriate? What website are you on? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's something for like the expression of disgust. Gag me with a spoon. So what what do you have, Liam? It says the expression of disgust. Does it give an example? Hey everybody, we're gonna learn something today. Gag me with a spoon. It it, it really doesn't say anything. Okay, something of disgust. Someone is repulsed or annoyed by something or someone. Oh. Okay. You're annoying. Oh gag me with a spoon. Oh, oh, it's like is it something like, I don't want to talk to you so much. Uh, so much do I not want to talk to you. I would rather be gagged with a spoon. Yeah. I, I have no clue. But like a sharp would. stick in the eye. Yes. Okay. Deal. I'd rather step on a nail than talk to you. All right. Cool. All right. I will never use that ever again. But at least we know. What else you got? Ralph. Uh, this was, it's just, Ralph? Yeah. Barf. Throw up. Yes. Okay, you got that one right. <laughs> uh, made, I, I don't Practice know if made club. taste by, but it was Cheech and Chong up in smoke, and then they're in the car, and then there was a joke uh, where he was like, what's your name? Ra- oh, he throws up. C- cop pulls him over. He, Cheech throws up. And then the cop's like, what's his name? And he's like, do you hear him? His name was Ralph. They're probably not the same, but I don't it, know. It's just like, yeah, you're right, though. It was throwing up. It's from yeah. the breakfast club. Yeah, everybody. I just referenced 1964's Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke. You guys are going to be Googling it. Your friends are like, what, the, what is this? Cheech and Chong Up in Smoke? It's a classic movie. You guys can't watch it yet. Not until you're 16. Mm. Because... I'm a dad. You cannot watch that movie until you're 16. Okay. okay. Next one. The same. I think it's G R O D Y, like Grody, or how would you say that? Grody? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's oh, the girls. Ew, that's Grody. Oh. Like yeah, icky. Right. No. T- like like boys gonna... are Grody. Yeah, like, like they're icky. something like. Gro- yeah, gross. Yeah. Freakazoid. Um, that was the cool kids trying to make fun of the nerds. Oh, so our emo is your freakazoid. I guess. 
Well, yeah, because you guys really embrace like the the smart nerdy kids now. Whereas back in the day, like your your screeches or your urkles, yeah, you guys can Google those two names. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they were like the the classic uh, like super smart nerd character. Um, so they would be the freak with, because they were freaks because they're not cool. Freakazoids. Ugh. Like, you're not even just a freak. You're like a whole new species, like an oid. You're a freakazoid. All right. Mm. Butter. Butter. Mm-hmm. Mm, butter. Burke. <laughs> it, it says on there. <laughs> Grandma liked the parquet. <laughs> you guys could Google that one, too. It's a little... <laughs> It was butter that... It was basically like, hey, I'm still butter, parquet. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's just on here that it's just practically <laughs> uncool. You guys can Google commercials. <laughs> <laughs> commercials were played in between <laughs> in breaks of television shows. <laughs> No, cut. Cut the episode. <laughs> oh my god, so <laughs> Whimsy. Whimsy. I just like the idea that we're gonna put this out. <laughs> People are gonna be like, oh my god, I know that guy. <laughs> oh man. Okay, next one. <laughs> Vague. Meg? Vague. Uh, vague? Yeah, like. Is it the definition of vague itself, like. Vague, like basic, easy. Yes. Okay. Oh man. What Adios, M O M M. Uh oh. I have no idea. Adios. A M O B A S. Adios. Oh, adios amigos. No. Yeah. Kind of like a bye. Like, can we even say, like, is that, can we actually say that anymore? Adios, amigo? Yeah, you can say that. Okay. I, that's, that's all I got. Do you have, do, do you have, oh my gosh. What, what do you think these kids say? Oh. Cheech. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't hang out with a lot of kids. Yeah, I would hope not. Like, uh, I don't know what JJ does or says. Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, I, I got no other catchphrases. To be fair, I really had no interest up until today on anything that you guys would say. You, you got, like, television. Well, well, our streaming services is your television. How did, like, what was your, like, how did you do television? I know you had, like, a router and you had to, like, look it up on a paper to go to the right channel. So, there's, there was a phrase that Sophie will never use again in her life is when she's watching TV she's like can you please change the channel TV used to have channels yes I know yeah you maybe because I had one or your mom had somewhere we had an old tiny TV when we sat cable but yeah so like now you guys have different streamer apps your Netflix your your Hulu's and whatever's, and then within them, categories, and then within those, you find your TV shows. You can just search it. Back in the day, you go way back. There's only four channels, three, uh, the main three, NBC. Do you know what NBC stands for? News Broadcasting Channel. NBC, National Broadcasting Company. Oh, was close. CBS. I don't know CBS. Uh, yeah. What is what's CBS? Something broadcast station or system. And then Nash the NBC. ABC. What what was the kids channel? Like where were the cartoons? For children programming in like the early eighties very, very small, minimum. Um, only when you start getting into um, 
maybe your late 80s, real hard in the early 90s, did... Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon came Cartoon out. Network. Uh, Nickelodeon came out, I think, 78, and it was all garbage. And then right around like the mid-80s, uh, they really started focusing on children's programming. And they rebranded Nickelodeon for uh, 100% kids' content. Now, what was weird is you had to have cable to get all... So, every TV you buy out of the box, you plug this stupid thing in, everyone has those first three uh, channels. NBC, ABC, CBS. And then Fox came by in the mid-90s and they started pushing, so now Fox is on there. Uh, They started off as news and then sports and then eventually they got into... uh, like scripted television um but then when you had cable you you had access to other channels like let's see howdy doody children's television and yeah but that's that was only one piece of children's television howdy doody but and that was back in 47 what was weird like We'd have to go deep dives on this at some point. Television back in 47 was a family affair. Yeah. Like, it was just before that, everybody crowds around the, the radio and you listen to the programs. Yeah. And you, you're you listening to, like, a state, like, a, basically uh, a movie for your ears. And then television comes out, and then you get uh, a lot of those programming really focus on the family stuff a little bit so you would do that I don't even know what television looked like in the 60s or 70s but original like hard uh, children programming came real hard in the 80s and 90s like late 80s 90s that's where you start getting your Nickelodeons your Cartoon Networks Um, now I guess as a kid I just watched enough of it that I knew what time my shows were on. Now, streaming has a habit of just binge watching. Yes. Ten episodes. It comes out on Wednesday. Let's do this. Watch it whenever you want. I watch, personally, all ten within the day. I know. I'm a, But back in the day, seasons of television ran... Like 24, 26 a episodes. Once, once a week, right? And ran weekly. And... What was you? Because I'm, I'm, I'm like... Every Friday you would like... Oh, Mom, I have to watch the TV at this time. Now, what's interesting... Okay, so television then was... You had TGIF, which was ABC's Friday lineup. Um, and they focused hard on family television it, it's it's bringing your parents and the kids you have two hours worth of television and it was all your um your family matters your full houses sabrina the teenage witch but it was a t- like random television boy meets world was on there uh-huh. um but kid friendly but not like your parents wanted to shoot themselves it was still kind of semi-entertaining um i remember watching full house a lot with mom um, and then, like, it is weird because it was weekly. Like, like when you binge stuff now, like you realize, like, if you binge watch old episodes of stuff, it gets weird because you're like, none of the storyline matches. But you got kind of remember, like, you watched it, and then a week later there was a new episode, so you don't you don't butt up against like inconsistencies or things like that um but so you had your fridays saturday mornings used to be a thing saturday morning cartoons i remember getting up biggest bowl of like a big tupperware bowl half a box of cereal a gallon of milk big old spoon couch tv and you would just watch four hours of cartoons it's all that's and because uh, and then after Saturday, there was no like designated like 
cartoon time. But yeah, every Saturday morning, 7 a.m. right there. Every every Saturday? Every Saturday. Was he there every Saturday watching cartoons? Is everybody sl- like, they sleep in. I watch cartoons. Um, okay, Liam. If you have a streamer, what's your favorite streamer right now? Your favorite show to watch? I don't, watch, I don't really watch shows. What's your favorite show you watched this year? Uh, it, Cobra Kai. Sure. Cobra Kai is coming out. Yeah. Okay. The search function breaks. The uh, the internet breaks. Only there's only one, one channel or like one website that you can get access to. How? Hmm. I'm trying to, like, what was it? I'm just I'm trying to just see if I can get you to come up if you, if I can get you to create the TV guide and I don't know if I can get there. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, so, just go, just go with the idea. If it fails, it fails. I don't know. Like, if you had to create something to tell people when something was on and they didn't have the internet, how would you get that information to them? I got there. I already told you the answer. The TV guide. So there's these magazines back in the day. Mm -hmm. Always only found at the checkout aisle. Because, like, you buy your groceries... Oh, yeah, I got to get the TV thing. And then you're like, oh, look at that cool cover. Oh, I forgot. And then they always have, like, advertisings or t- remind you that something, like, new new, uh, new season of Cheers. And you're like, oh, grab. So you grab it. You grab this book. It was, how, how big is that? Like, three by five? Mm-hmm. Like a three by five. But, like, couldn't you just switch the channels? No one likes flipping through channels. No, because no, the, problem, <laughs> the problem with flipping through channels is so we'll call it 10 channels 15 channels and you're like looking for something right you remember those things commercials i'm telling you about oh you don't know which one because so you're flipping so you're like channel three you're like oh i don't want that then you're like channel five and you're like oh, commercial so you don't have no idea what is playing because of the commercial so you're just like oh you're just flipping through so you get the tv guide and it kind of tells you it says this on this channel at this time big big grid and it had <laughs> Remember these things? Alright, so you open the book and then on the left page it has all of your names of stations. So Fox, NBC, ABC, Fox Family, um, History or whatever, right? So because it can't have channel numbers because if you're in a different city it's a different channel. So you you realize you're like, oh, I want to see something but so it's on Fox and now you're like, crap. What channel was Fox on? So that's a whole other thing. So you, you open your book, and it has on the left all of your uh, your, your, your channels, the name of the channels. Mm-hmm. And then on the top, it has half-hour time slots of, like, 5 to 10. Yes. And then so you find Fox, you find 8 o'clock, 90210, hour long. And it would gray in... So that way you knew that 90210 was an hour long because it took up the 8 to 8.30 and the 8.30 is 9 slot. Yeah. Can you... <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I'm trying to process. You're like, like, right? And then right after it, it would have the next, it would say cheers, at half hour, and then another cheers half hour. But that's how we used to have to search. Like, like you put the groceries away, you sit down, you open it up and you're like, "What are we gonna watch on Monday?" And you go Monday, and you pull up your your times, and then you're and you basically read everything that's playing everywhere. And you're like, "Boom! I like this idea." And you're like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch this one." And then you're like, "Tuesday." You turn a couple pages and you're like, "Tuesday," because stuff only ran once a week. So there would be a new guide for every week. Every week there was a new guide. And then, if you, okay, so I watched 90210 religiously. So you had to, now we don't have streamers. If mom works at 8 o'clock that night, she can't watch it. If she can't watch the original run, she has to wait six months until after the show's 
the the season ends, and then in the off season or the the hiatus time, they play all the reruns. Oh, that sucks. So you miss an episode, right? And then they're just like, okay, wait. Yeah. So I had to learn how to set a VCR, and then figure it out. So she's working. Eight o'clock, I go up and I push record on the VCR. Oh. So it, so it records for her. She come home, and then we would watch it. It was nice of you. It was very nice of me, unless I forgot or it didn't record. Did you get in trouble when you forgot? I, I don't know if it's so much in trouble, but like, so okay, nine oh two and oh, you got you got you had the Dylan. Who does Dylan like, Kelly or Brenda? And it, that was like seasons one through like forever. You're like, I like you both, whatever. No, I'll date you, I'll date you. And it's like, and then like, if I forget an episode, my luck, it was like, someone got shot and died. And then we're like, oh my, what? And then she's like, so now, not only does she not know who died, she has to wait until next week so you can find out the aftermath of it. And then she's Try like. To put the pieces together. Right. And then she's like. But what if it's like the season finale and you miss it? And then everyone then in school's you, talking about it, and you're like, oh, I didn't see it. Then you go to work, or you go to school, and you're like, my kid, he failed me. <laughs> you didn't record. I didn't even watch it. I have no idea that Diane came back for the finale of Cheers. Spoiler alert. Yeah. That, that television was primitive. Yeah. We were, yeah. It's not, like now... I mean, Grandma's slowly getting into this binge idea, but she likes, which is funny, because she knows that she has them all, she saves them all until the end and then watches them all. Like, uh, like Yellowstone comes out weekly. There's a couple of weekly things. Um, and then anything that does have all the episodes, she, her and other Grandma kind of just watch a couple episodes and they kind of get back to their roots, which is, we want to do something next week. And the week after that, so let's save some episodes. Because if you watch it all today, you guys have nothing to watch for next week. No, that's, that's true. Yeah, yeah. television was, pr- like, was crazy, crazy primitive. So, you got anything else? Lindsay. All right.